behind Dennis Gametti. Contending today's match is Greater Western Sydney and the Crows. Football back at Spotless Stadium. With 800 goals and 282 games to his credit, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson. How are you, Dennis? Richo, what does this mean to be here today? Dennis, it's said often, but this is really such a big day on the footy calendar. Words can't describe the feeling you would get stepping out onto the ground on grand final day as a player or as a coach. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. Banners ready for the players. Two teams competing for football's biggest prize. The crowd is very, very happy. Grand final day, Richo. What are your thoughts? Everyone in the team, from the coach and the captain to the guys lacing the boots, will be very nervous right now. You just can't get around that, Dennis. We have the toss of the coin. Adelaide kicking to the left of screen, waiting for the siren now. Here's the first bounce of the grand final. Here it is, the final 120 minutes of football for the season. Unless, of course, we have a draw. Finding the running player. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. McKinnon aims for her woman on the ground. And now we'll have a ball up. McKinnon taps it. Cramey onto the ball. Wins the hard ball. Jones drilled that kick in. Narana ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Hetherington. She's given that to up an old mighty thumb. Nice mark under pressure. She boots it. Great hands. She slams it onto her boot. That's a mark. She kicks the ball. Good mark. Puts boot to ball. Solid use of the body to outmark her opponent. She boots it with the mark. Boots it. The down. Gets the upper hand. Picture perfect drop punt. Great mark. Bumps the pig skin. A mark by Jones. Gets boot to high. Nice mark there. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Kicked by Boyd. Great mark. Puts boot to ball. Well, that wouldn't have been my choice. It'll be deliberate. Kicks it. Bounces favorably for Rush. Cramey gets the ball. Oh, you can see she really loves taking a contested mark. Nice mark there. She boots it. She climbs the ball. Puts boot to ball. The mark will be paid. She gets boot to ball. It's a mark. She boots it. Kept her composure then. Wallace taking aim. 40 minutes from home. Going for goal number one. 
The Crows get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Goal. That's the first one of the game. Just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Wallace knows that was something special. McKinnon hardly provided a challenge. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. She gains possession. Interception. Intercept by Marinoff. Soccer kick. She gives the ball away. Beeson finds her woman on the move. Puts boot to ball. Nice contested mark by Gracie. 50 meters from home. Her stab kick once killed a small dog. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Hicks. Boots it. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. She slams it onto her boot. She grabs it. Sending it on its way. Passes by hand. Puts boot to ball. It's a mark. Picks it across the ground. Great mark under pressure. That drop punt works well for Kramey. Randall claims it. Boots it. Saundry marks. That's a massive kick. She had her eye on the ball all the way and she took the mark well. Sends it on its way. Takes that one strongly. She boots it. Good mark. She handballs it. Boyd goes for goal. Boyd kicks it straight through the big sticks. It's all tied up on the scoreboard. i got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. She's enjoying that goal, and why not? You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Jones made the awkward bounce look easy. She's got great hands. Taken by Gillian. Going for goal number one. Perfect kick. Gets her first. Only one goal the difference. Adelaide can't afford to get too comfortable here. Oh, she'll be loving that goal when she sees it in the highlights package. Killian, happy. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Effective hit out there. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Killian, looking a real threat out there when she pulls in contested marks like that one. Great hands. Hicks slams it on the boot. Couldn't hold on to the mark. Squeezes on a handball. Takes possession. A short handball, intercept by fourth. Where to Western Sydney coach using the bench. The umpire says, give it to me. Allen aims for her woman on the ground. She handballs. She's chopped that one off. It's with her now. She's looking good. I think she can. Adelaide with a two-goal lead. She's a smart girl, but she needs to keep a cool ahead so she can make that right decision more often. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Killian knows that was something special. Both rucks have a fair shot at this one. Smiles. Thumps it forward. The ball is socket. She gets tackled as she hands it off. Dishes it off to the running player. Fourth. Puts it on the boot. It's Edwin Scissorhands. Eva with the interception. She's got the ball. Takes control of the bouncing ball. All eyes are watching. 
That shot wasn't meant to hit the fan. The Crows get the free kick as it goes out on the full. Choose to kick it. Not by Eva. Eva. The Giants trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. McCormick decides to play on. That had some power behind it. Strong mark. Wiley kicks it. Redan marks on the run. Boots it. She had her eye on the ball all the way, and she took the mark well. Richard, what are your thoughts on the opening turn? The Giants need to pick up their game. Hopefully they can control the nerves of a grand final match. Let's check out the stats. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Crows are slightly ahead with 13. Let's go back to the action. This quarter is important for lifting the spirit of the players during the half-time break. Boyd runs past and gets the ball. Booted by Redan. Monaghan looking a real threat out there when she pulls in contested marks like that one. Nice drop punt. Steady hands there as she holds that one. She kicks the ball. She claims the ball. She kicks it long. That's a mark. She slams it onto her boot. She gets under that. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Mariner presents and takes the mark. Strong mark. Beeson puts it on the boot. Ooh, got under it. That had some power behind it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 50 minutes from home. Boyd whacks one on the boot for goal. The huge kick makes it to the goals. Greater Western Sydney is down by less than a kick. Boyd wears her heart on her sleeve and she bleeds for this footy club. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley and it's a goal. Very happy with that kick. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. She's got the footy in her hands. She sockers it. Four. With the mighty fist. Cramey keeps it alive with the foot. She's got the footy in her hands. Marinov whacks one on the boot for goal. Drifts wide to go through from behind. Adelaide by six points. Tompkins waiting for her teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway plan. She wins the contest. Frickleton feeds it wide. She steadies now in front of goal. She boots it. Strong mark there. Perfect kick. The Crows go over at the Giants. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. She loves it. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce is straight up and down. Big leap. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Gets boot to leather. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. McKinnon going for distance. Bar enjoying a height advantage. 30 meters out. She's kicking on about a 30 degree angle, which could prove challenging. The Giants trailing by less than two goals. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Bar 
with the goal, and she runs back to her position. Ruckman awaiting the bounce, and there's the bounce. Controlled by Racing, scoops up the bouncing ball, jams it on the boot. Hicks with a big bump to Randall. Hicks guides it, tapped by Ford. Gets a handball away. Rush finds her woman on the move. Penetrating hand pass. Works it across the ground. Collier wins the marking contest. Choose to kick it. Saundry takes the mark. 50 meters out. Saundry drives the ball towards goal. A goal for Greater Western Sydney. That will settle the nerves. The first goal is always welcome. She'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Saundry with the goal, and she runs back to her position. All is in readiness. The bounce lays her straight. The loose ball picked up by Beeson. Nice work from Eva. 40 meters out. Bow marks it. 20 meters out. The tightest of angles here. Going for goal number two. Bow just manages to sink it. A second goal in the bag. He's very good off either left or right foot, so kicking off either side is not an issue. She's loving that replay, and she's making sure her opponent knows all about it. Ah, happy. All is in readiness. Look at that bounce. She's got the ball. Beeson with a big tackle that spills the ball loose. Quick hands find the running player. Run control to Major Tom. Van Hagen takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Racy has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 45 meters out. This kick to square it up. Killian kicking to even the scores. Rush comes away with the ball. Wallace intercepts it. Pinpoint accuracy from Wallace. That's number two. This game is getting more exciting by the second. I'll put a cork in it. That's vintage stuff, and I bet she'll only get better with time. Wallace knows that was something special. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is dead straight. Huge leap. A favorable bounce. Boyd decisively. A rushed kick. The ball gets dropped as the tackle is made. Shot by Dalpos. She gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. Point the difference. She needs someone to break hard. She's ready to bring it back into play. McCormick with the kick. 45 meters out. Eva with the shot. Nice mark there. The Dan kicks. Cramey has it. That kick has covered a very long distance. The contest no match for her. Gets boot to high. The mark missed by Ford. A clean pickup. Batted down nicely by Tsundry. Good tap from Cramey. Batted down nicely by Tsundry. Jones with the ball. Takes it well. Nice drop punt. Nice mark there. Ford slams it on the boot. Nice work from Collier. Gets boot to high. Has she? Yes, she's paid it. She kicks it. That's a ripper. Boyd. 
It's a goal. She's giving it all she's got in this match. That's number three. The Giants by seven points. She'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Celebration time after that one for Boyd. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Good bounce. Smythe with the punch. She gains possession. Choose to kick it. Marked by Bar. Puts boots a ball. Right hands. Pradam clearing it out of defense. Creamy presents and takes the mark. How did you see that last quarter, Richard? Don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Richard, now with his stats. Maybe losing, but Adelaide looked fantastic in the stats. Cheers, Richard. One half down, one to go. The crowd anxious. Let's get into the second half. The final half of the year, let's get it on. Dishes it off to the running player. Ball up call. Allen gets the tap. Racing controls. She grabs it on the run. Creamy has had plenty of it, Rojo. Yes, super work from her in this match, Dennis. Great grab. Hit by Hicks. Great grab. Looted by Rush. A great effort. She gets boot to ball. She marks the ball. Sending it on its way. She climbs the ball. She slams it onto her boot. She marks the ball. She kicks the ball. Takes the mark. Boots it. Takes it well. Monaghan gets the interception on the bounce. Rush sends one up towards the wing. The contest no match for her. She gets boot to ball. That's a nice strong mark. Sending it on its way. She marks the ball. She slams it onto her boot. She marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. With great hands. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Boyd will need to pull something special out here. Looking for another goal here. Goal for Boyd. She's kicked four and looks like she's not done scoring yet. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Congratulated by her teammates. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Punch by Ballon. Rush controls it. Rush throws it clear as day. Mariner feeds it wide. The contest no match for her. She slams it onto her boot. The mark will be paid. She a long kick there. She marks the ball. She boots it. That's a mark. Jones lines it up. Her stab kick once killed a small dog. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Steady hands there as she holds that one. Boots it. Saundry wins the marking contest. Bumps the big skin. She couldn't have made it any more obvious. That was deliberate. Jams it on the boot. Takes it well. Puts boot to ball. Beeson controls it. Race it. Just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Gets a handball away. Nice interception. Killian thumps the ball for goal. That shot wasn't meant to hit the fan. Out of bounds on the full it goes. Trims the grass with that one. She's perspiring like a pudding in a pot as she lines up to take this shot. 35 meters out. Takes that one strongly. Rush clearing it out of defense. Solid as a rock and she comes away with a lovely contested mark. 
Solid as a rock, and she comes away with a lovely contested mark. She takes a strong mark. Sending it on its way. That's a mark, lining it up with the goal now. Sending it on its way, just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. She kicks the ball. She steals the ball on the bounce. Rush making her way onto the field. McKinnon gets onto the ball. Four. Making her way in. Let's hope she's compensated for that breeze. Nice kick. Greater Western Sydney lead Adelaide by 19. There's one for the time capsule. Look at her as she's really enjoying this one. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce is dead straight. McKinnon thumps it forward. Able to grab it on the half volley. Fourth, looking like a Manchester United player. Allen taps. Booted by Smith. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Three goals so far. Well done. The Giants' forwards are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the GWS midfielders have had complete faith in their forwards and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. She's putting on a masterclass with goals like that one. Very happy with that kick. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is straight as an arrow. McKinnon gets the tap. Able to grab it on the half volley. Van Hagen with the running catch. Pumps it inside the 50. Hetherington claims the ball. Kicks it. Taken by four. Ground control to Major Tom. Delpos has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. And the mark will be paid. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Even urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. 50 metres out. That came off the boot with huge power. Great mark under pressure. 50 metres from home. Bar going for number four. Bar with a massive goal. Four goals and no sign of stopping. This one gives them an even bigger lead. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Smiles all round. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. It's been intercepted by the opposition. The run-up looks promising. It's in the air. Got the distance and the accuracy. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Schmidt is relieved to see that one go through. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Look at that bounce. McKinnon with the tap. Cramey is able to grab it on the half volley. Monaghan with the mark. Nice drop pass. A mark by Galpas. Chip kick along the way. Has she? Yes, she's paid it. She slams it onto her boot. That's a mark. She steadies now in front of goal. She gets the behind. She has a few options. She decides to play on. McCormick kicks hard along the boundary line. Boots it. Mules spills it. Richard, what do you think about the quarter we just watched? It's always great to have the lead at the grand final at the break. It makes the rest of the game so much easier.
Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richard? Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 27 to 24. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. 32 to 21. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richard. Only one term to go now. It's the final quarter of the year and it should have some great moments. She smashes and bashes her. Saundry gains possession through the interception. Kicks the skin off it. Racing. Marks it. Too far out to score, surely. Wow, do they need to score. Nice kick. The Crows won't be so desperate after that goal. Well, the margin's big, but there's lots of time left on the clock. I'll put a cork in it. That's vintage stuff, and I bet she'll only get better with time. Tompkins is relieved to see that one go through. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is straight as an arrow. She's got the footy in her hands. Quick hands find the running player. Rocketed long bike racing. Freckleton with the tap. That was more obvious than finding Wally at Anuda's camp. Deliberate should be the call there. Puts boot to ball. Solid as a rock, and she comes away with a lovely contested mark. The 45-degree shot is not too hard. She just has to keep cool. 45 meters out. Going for goal number two. Squeezes out a handball. Hicks receives the ball. Hetherington takes the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Couldn't hold on to the mark. Randall kicks it out of the congestion. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him 25 meters out. Killian going for number three. We owe some gratitude to these guys. They breathed some life into a corpse which had nearly expired. I'll put a cork in it. That's vintage stuff, and I bet she'll only get better with time. Killian is relieved to see that one go through. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. The umpire pays the free kick. She's put power behind that kick. A good contested mark there. She slams it onto her boot. She takes a strong mark. She gets boot to ball. A great mark under pressure. She kicks the ball. She takes a strong mark. She boots it. Takes a contested mark. Kicks beyond the wing. Great mark. The Crows just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Puts boot to ball. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. A solid use of the body then. Nice bit of power then. Wins the contested ball. Inside 50 now. A great effort. Looks like she panicked there. Takes that one strongly. Booted by Rush. Has she? Yes, she's paid it. She kicks the ball. A nice contested mark. Puts boot to ball. She takes a strong mark. She kicks the ball. Strong mark there. Valpos kicks it. Oh, you can see she really loves taking a contested mark. 40 minutes from home. Boyd going for number five. Goal for Boyd. That's number five. The lead has been increased. That could be the final nail in the coffin.
She'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Boyd chose the goal umpire the right signal. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. She was pushed. That had some power behind it. A great effort. It's up, up and away. Not a best effort. Racy. Getting into position for the kick. 50 meters out. She's kicking from a 45 degree angle. Van Hagen drops it. Touched only a behind. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. GWS have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery, their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder Adelaide was starting to fall behind. Solid use of the body to outmark her opponent. Sending it on its way. She gets boot to ball. She grabs it. Kicks the skin off it. Great mark under pressure. Jones picks it. A rushed kick. Kicked in a flurry. Randy picks it up. She'll get a free for that tackle. Far too high. Dropped by Tompkins. Scoops up the ball. Racing. Intercepts it. Stevenson cool under pressure. Releases in time. A rushed kick. Four taps. Freckleton was taken high. Freckleton spears the ball. Taken by Stevenson. Heads up the corridor. Snatches at it and drops it. She's as twitchy as a frog in a blender. Intercepted by Dallin. That was more obvious than a Clydesdale in a herd of Shetland ponies. Sends it on its way. Great grab. She boots it. She takes the contested mark. She slams it onto her boot. Stevenson claims the ball. Sending it on its way. That's a nice strong mark. She boots it. Strong mark there. She kicks the ball forward. Freckleton with the mark. Boots it. Great mark over the pack. She slams it onto her boot. That's a mark. Sending it on its way. Boy, with the mark, she lines it up with the goal. Boyd shoots for goal. Boyd gets the goal. That's two in a row for the Giants. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. McKinnon punches. She gets tackled as she hands it off. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice hands. Wiley feeds it wide. There can only be one winner, and this year, it's Greater Western Sydney. Well, the season might be over, but the party is just beginning for the winners. The pressure was on them, but they came up with the goods and won the Premiership Cup. Disappointment for the loser. You can sense today they were overwhelmed by a clearly superior team. Dennis, this was a really disappointing display by Adelaide. Well, just when you thought the door had closed on any chance GWS had to get back into this game, out burst this united, ruthless attack on the ball, which the Crows simply couldn't cope with. It was like GWS were two different teams. Great come from behind win. It truly is amazing. They've been giving up to 110%. Every piece of energy their bodies had to offer has been given, but now all the pain forgotten as they enjoy this adulation. Yeah, they worked hard and now it's time to celebrate. The ground belongs to them right now. There's no opposition as they take their moment to thank the fans. Oh, yes, they should take their time here and savour every moment. Well, that's all we have time for. We only part to meet again, maybe next weekend.